Smell good. Ugh. It smells perfect. It smells like her. So you just decided to help yourself to her closet? No, 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 no. The ones in her closet were too new. Besides, she knew someone had been in there. I waited until she threw them out. You know, I was always good at waiting and watching. Sometimes she would look around like she could feel me watching. And if she caught you? Then what? Your whole world would come crashing down. Why? It never has in the past. I deal with her the way I dealt with the others. And then I move on to the next one. Moving on in this place might be harder than you think. Hey, find your own girl. This one's mine. What was that? Thought I heard a sound. about the church and the apartment. Father, do you have anywhere that I could stay just for a little oh, while? Oh, of course, dear. The church is always here now. I think we have an old attic you can stay in for as long as you like. Start protecting us. 
deliverance from the shadow of the evil. She's praying what I'm thinking. It's getting deep. A lot of prayer is going up right now. Not just hers. wouldn't come in here, would he? Would he? I never regret it. She calms down. Go ask her why she needs to stay here. The attic must be up there.
those air vents okay? Okay, I'm not trying to be picky, but seriously, now do you call this a seventy? Sorry, ma'am. The request form said it would be a Puritan themed display. It wasn't Just a lot more specific. At it. What do you call that Puritan? It's plastic. You think it was plastic anything when they landed on Plymouth Rock? Can't wait till this one is over. Just no respect for history anymore. You're tasteful. It says safe. Oh, yeah, they're quite the fairy tale. They weren't high school sweethearts. Everyone thinks they were, but they just seem like they've been in love for it. Shoot, Cat, get out of here. Nice really? Girl Great. In Dublin, but he met Shelley down in Florence. And she's from you follow Boston. Still? I, I don't just need thousands of miles of sure. free sure. the, the love of his life, who lives right down the road. Kind of makes you believe in fate. Well, congratulations on the wedding. I've played quarterback. I've played football. It's four years of tail line. It was on the varsity when he was a freshman. husband's Irish family, but my family, the Winslows. We go all the way back to the Pilgrims. We settled in Salem in the 1600s. There she is, finally. Why do I always lose my keys when I need to leave? How can I get through to her? somewhere around noon on a Sunday when I got a call from the pastor. He was looking for someone to fix up the old church. It had been sitting up on that hill, abandoned for over 40 years after getting hit by lightning back in 98. It suffered a bunch of fire damage. So of course I, I agreed to help. I knew something was wrong the second I stepped inside. As an, an inexplicable chill came over me. Anyway, I, I shook it off and I, I set to work. As I started tearing up the damaged floorboards, 
They were all bad. Well, I uncovered an old rat's nest. It seemed like any of the others I'd seen over my 22 years in the construction business, until I saw the scraps of human hair and bones that the rats had used to make it. Well, suddenly I, I heard the floorboards on the second floor creaking above me, and the sounds of a young girl weeping. Well, you know, I was worried that the damaged section of the ceiling was going to give away under her weight, so you know, I, I yelled, hey, you know, stop, come down immediately. Well, my voice must have startled her because she went completely silent. So I got up and I, I went to look for her. When I entered the room upstairs, though, I was surprised to see it completely empty. It only took me, you know, a minute to make my way up there, and I would have heard her run off if she did. But that's when I heard the weeping again. Only this time it was coming from the bell tower. So I, I climbed up the long, treacherous, curving stairs at the top, and I, I noticed what I thought was dried blood dotting the way. And when I finally got up to the belfry, I was just paralyzed with terror. Because lying before me was the withered corpse of a young girl. Judging by her sun-bleached clothes and weathered bones, it, it seemed like she'd been lying there for the better part of those 40 years the place had been empty. The rats, I mean, they, they picked her bones clean. I, well, I took off running. I didn't stop until I got all the way to town. The ravages of time made it impossible for the authorities to get any identity on this girl. It seems Salem will never know who killed her. Some people still claim to hear her weeping there. As for myself, I never went back. me again. I'll, I'll, you have no right to jump your unfinished business Hold on. on me. Now I'm tracking down my killer, okay? Someone who was seconds away from attacking you about an hour ago, and if... Wait a minute. You, you can see me? And hear me? <sighs> Holy shit. You're a medium. <laughs> well, I ain't, ain't I the luckiest guy in the world? I just found the perfect little helper. What is it with you guys and my family? Helping the cops do their job is not some, some privilege. It's a trap. I'm not your informant, your partner, or your friend. I don't owe you if anything. You owe me. Dick. Yeah, yeah, I, I get it. You're tough, okay? But you're not tougher than him. You saw what he can do. He's coming after you, or someone close to you. Whoever he wants dead is lucky to still be alive. Now, I know what I'm doing, and you can help me stop him. All you have to do is answer some questions. Look, I'm sorry. What happened to you is horrible and you you saved my life so what do you want fine don't talk i was murdered tracking that son of a bitch to your place so why would he be looking for you 
That freak was probably looking for my mom. Not me. I, I'm a nobody. Invisible. My mom and I tried very hard to keep it that way. Not everybody wants to be noticed, you know. Fine. Don't talk. This is what I care. Have you ever seen my killer before tonight? Do you have any idea who he is? You cops are so hard up on clues that you're actually asking people if they know who the killer is? Now I get why you need so much help. I'm not asking people. I'm asking the witness whose life I just saved. Looking for your mom. What does that mean? She's like me. But she found a way to make a respectable living off of what we can do. Living that probably turned her into a target. So where's your mom, kid? Probably... dead. She would never just leave me without saying a word. Never. I don't know where she is. I know the bell killer had something to do with her disappearance. Him showing up tonight just proves it. If he killed her, why would he come back to her place? Hmm. I don't know. Look, assuming the worst never helped no one. I'm telling you, I'm out of here soon. Why don't you live there? Because of people like you, always asking for help. Trying to connect one last time with your loved ones or, or resolve some crazy problem. I love my mom, but I can't live in one place for too long or people like you will find me too easily. I wasn't home much either growing up. I know that's rough. I thought you were gonna ask me something. All right, all right. What were you doing at your apartment? I live there, Sherlock. Well, I used to, whatever. My mother has been missing for a few days. I, I don't see her that often, but she never just disappears. Not like this. Living? Yeah. Hey, you might know her. She was working the Bell Killer case with the cops as a contract psychic, a profiler. Sorry, kid. She didn't ring any bells. I found this in the apartment tonight. Mentioned something about some Bell Killer book, and it's in her handwriting. Bell Killer book? If she was a profiler, it's probably the book she kept all her case notes in. That would be at the station. Really? You're not safe alone. You need someone watching over you. Us cops find missing people. I found you and I can help you find your mom. Your problem is now my problem too. <laughs> no way. Uh, don't get me wrong, you saved my life and... Okay, I can't pay that back, but your problems are your problems and mine are mine. There they are. Good luck. You're gonna need it. Have a nice afterlife. Whoa, wait a minute. Don't go yet. Just stop for a second, will you? We're on the same side. If your mother's involved, we need to work together. Work together? What are you gonna do? You're dead. I'll handle it. Just leave me alone! She knows more. I can't let her get away. There's gotta be another way down.
probably better off at home with the doors locked. Even so soon, dear. Yeah, sorry. Uh, I'll be back. Don't wait up, Father. Be careful out there, my child. Where'd she go, huh? Leave now, find my book at the station, and don't look back. She's headed to the police station to steal some book. <laughs> She'll blend in well there. <sighs> Did you know her mother worked for the police? <laughs> Fine. Don't tell me. Puss. station. 